everyone welcome back to my channel this is your girl Inga here welcome to you newbies and if you want to just be a part of this queen station just go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on those notifications and like these videos and please 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 share these videos so, so today, today as you can see from the title I am going to be comparing the lip gloss basis I know yeah I am so excited about this and I know you are too so we're gonna just get into this video and see which lip gloss best suits or fits you okay okay so so far I have three lip gloss bases that I'm gonna be um, doing a demonstration on for you guys a bunch of lip gloss bases out there well my favorite company to buy my base from is TKB I've heard about um, other companies selling lip gloss bases and if you want me to drop those links in the description box below I will do that just comment and let me know if you're in this business TKB is a favorite of a lot of us lip gloss bosses as you might say and they have I think they have I'm not gonna quote the number but I I think I saw about at least five or six different lip gloss bases there and yeah I've been going through some of them as you know everyone favorite lip gloss base um, is the Versa gel but I think that is because they haven't tried any other lip gloss base from those um, from that company so I'm just gonna be showing you three of them that I have tried and which one is my favorite and which one would I recommend to you guys okay so I'm gonna have to put on my glasses for this so right here I have the three of the lip gloss base and I am going to be pouring them into a bowl to do a little demonstration for you guys so I have the three of them right here this is the Versa gel this is the polybutene um, this is just a five ounce packaging that I got this Versa gel is like 16 ounces which is a pound um, this hair it's the flexa gel I'm excited about this and this is 15 ounces okay so when I compare them with touch I should say the Versa gel is like a medium firmness this polybutin is very firm as you can see uh, you saw me use this a few times this is very firm this is my second order from them or my third I think I've been loving the polybutin and this hair is a little less firmer than the Versa gel it's nowhere as firm as the polybutin but yeah so we're gonna see what the flexi gel is all about also because i think i've heard some good stuff about this so let's just get into the textures of these lip gloss bases into a glass dish a bowl or whatever i'm going to be using okay so yeah i'm just gonna put on my gloves to do this demonstration because you know that polygon is very very thick and sticky I suggest you wear gloves anyway when you're mixing the glosses and step okay so I'm gonna use this dish here this is um, a throwaway dish a sanitary um, thing disposable or whatever so this is the polybutane this is the Flexa gel. And this here is the Versa gel. So, let me go ahead first. I'm gonna pour the Versa gel first. A little so we can see the texture. So, that's the texture of the Versa gel. 
we're going to have that in the center of the plate. Then I'm going to go with Miss Thick Stuff, the polybutane. Ew, there it is. Very thick. And sticky, extremely sticky. Like, you have to wear your gloves and stuff with this. So, as you can see, these two here, this is like clear, no bubbles at all. This has a little bit of bubbles. This is the Versagel. This is the Polybutane without the bubbles. And let's try the Flexi Gel. Use both these, the Versagel and the Polybutane, but I've never used the Flexi Gel. As you can see, it's like, I didn't even um, turn it all over completely and it just pours out. Like I told you, it is very, very, um, it's not that firm. It's very loose. So I think if I use this, I'm going to have to thicken this up with some polyvuting or Versagel. So, and this hair has a bit more, uh, much more bubbles than any of the other two. So, right here is the polyvuting. There are no bubbles in this. So the Versagel hair has a few bubbles in it. I should have used a colorful plate, but I didn't have one. And then the Flexigel has tons of little, small little bubbles in it. If you can see right there. So let's go texture-wise. Okay, the Versagel, as you can see, has a nice texture. You can work with that. You can add your oils in, uh, make it a little loose. This, like I said, was everyone's favorite, but I don't think they have ever um, used any of the other bases. So this is the Versagel right here. We killed Versagel. Right here is the Polybutin. It's extremely clear. No bubbles at all no bubbles at all look it's thick and sticky i am having a hard time moving it as you can see but it's workable you can add your lip gloss um oils to this your carry oils but it's very thick it even feels as if it's getting thicker as i move it around but <clears throat> When you incorporate your oils in it, it's less thick. One thing about this is I have never been able to just get rid of the stickiness. This is also very sticky, guys. Very sticky. Um, that's why when I mix this, I also add Versagel in this to... Versagel makes it less stickier. Um, yeah, so this is very, very thick and sticky but I really like it I really really like it like I said it's very sticky and I love it a lot I love to use it I love to mix the Versa gel with that it's pretty awesome and right here is the Flexa gel as you can see it's very very loose mm -hmm. very very loose so I'm gonna explain Oh, the difference of these and what they have in them in a second. So this is very, very loose. If you want to use the Flexa Gel, you're going to have to thicken it up a bit. Okay, use your discretion. So there we have it, the Polyvultin. That, which is less bubbly and very thick. The Flexa Gel, which is this, which is very, very loose and has the most bubbles. And the Versa Gel has... Is in between medium bubbles, medium um, firmness, thickness, or whatever texture, and this is most popular, the Versa Gel. Okay, but let me tell you something. I have been using, like I said, the Flexa Gel. I'm sorry, the Polybutin. I mix it with the Versa Gel and some wax. If you can 
go to my other videos i probably have one um up here somewhere where you can go and check that out but i want i'm really excited about this i want to use this flexi gel i have heard a few or seeing some good reviews on it and some people are saying you should use this instead of versa gel i don't know why but we will see but like i said the versa gel versa gel is an oldie but goodie this is a ride or die chick right here um i still love it they're all vegan based and um okay the polybutin let me see if they have the instructions on this uh no they do not but what what made me get this is i saw that they have good ingredients in this so they have the vitamin e and i'm not um i don't know if i'm pronouncing these words correctly but the Simonzio chinesis which is the jojoba seed oil which i love i love i love so when i saw that in this i was like anxious about it and also they have polyglutin in this so what they did was just um tone it down a bit with all with the other oils and the emollients so that's what they did with this but if you know if you're a lip gloss oldie but goodie and you know what i'm saying with the emollients if you get what i'm like how i'm using the terms emollients and whatever you know what i mean so they also have the hydronated polyisoglutin in this yeah so you hear all those good stuff that are in this so that's why i am excited to use this i think this will be good with being just clear lip gloss because if it has all of that it should give it a nice nice gloss and you can just add some additional stuff to it so yeah i don't know i'm thinking this is gonna be my new ride or die check <laughs> So yeah, um, but this one here, it didn't, I don't know why they don't have any of the, um, well, it actually says that the polybutin is bubbles free. Okay. I never saw it on it, but I saw it when I was doing the demonstration. It's non-drying, no odor, non-toxic, an extremely thick liquid that is great for the use and formulation of a lip gloss lipstick eye makeup okay skin and hair care products oh okay so this is found in all of those things and one thing i found out about this why i started to use this is that a lot of high-end glosses are made with this like the fenty and all of those other stuff they they use this they use this they use this polybutin okay and this is the ride or die check right here I really really love this versa gel i don't think i'll ever be parting with it though i'm just always gonna add this in my mixtures because i love versa gel mm. yeah our first love versa gel so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this little short little quick little video that i wanted to show you guys especially if you're beginning um with your lip gloss business you can just refer to this and decide which gloss you want to use um if you want to see a video on emollients and carryalls i can do that for you also but i think i have some very old videos with that already so but just let me know in the comments below so you guys have been very attentive and nice, I assume. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to, to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications so do, you don't miss out on my next video. I will be, I want to do a video with um, some labels and logos and thank you cards and stuff like that. That you can print from Canva or do in Canva. And I hope to get it out by Thursday so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye